ok. So, now what happens if the less water is given ok. So, if less water is given obviously, the crops are going to die we all know that we can make it out, but what happens if the more water is given ok or untimely water is given. So, this advantage is oh this chalk this color does not works only this advantage is of excess of irrigation or disadvantages of untimely irrigation. Okay. Disadvantages of excess of irrigation means irrigation may we all know what is irrigation to give excess amount of water uh, sorry I am so sorry irrigation means what to give water to supply water in the particular intervals whenever like whatever the crop requires. So, you know like the farmers they understand by their own personal experience only that when the water has to be given and how much water has to be given they know that uh, if the water is not given timely or if it is given more or less the crops will not grow properly ok. So, uh, they even know that uh, uh, like the uh, if the irrigation is done just after the sowing of seeds. So, what will happen the seeds are going to flow up with the water. So, the farmers they know with the help of their own experience only ok. ok. So, first of all to start with what we are doing now what we are studying disadvantages of excess of irrigation and untimely irrigation that means, if the water is not provided when it is required ok. Like when the crops need water at that time if the water is not given then what can be the disadvantages ok. So, to ha just have a look over here it can be like ok one word I just want to introduce over here water logging ok water uh, uh, yes it is visible water logging. What is the meaning of this water logging means excess of water given to the soil or present in the soil excess of water in the soil ok. So, what is the water lodging means what when too much of water is there in the soil ok. Now, when too much of water is there we are reading that only advantage uh, disadvantage is I should write this d like it should be more visible ok. So, disadvantages means what we are reading we are reading that only like if more water is given then what will happen. So, water lodging means what a new word water lodging means what means when excess of water is there in the soil. So, what will happen? So, it will inhibits means it will stop you know? it will stop it stops germination ok. It stops germination means what it does not uh, gives like for the seed a particular amount of water is required if it is less it would not germinate if it is more then also it would not be able to germinate. So, it affects the it stops germination or or affects germination ok. It stops germination or it affects germination it stops and affects ok. Now, this was the A now what can be the next one now if the more water is given then what happen roots the roots what happens to the roots actually ok when more water is given roots do not grow properly 
okay because of water lodging if more water is there the roots do not grow properly okay then next thing roots can't absorb uh, or i should i can even write you know the roots can't breathe properly i can even write this thing ki roots can't breathe properly so roots can't breathe properly that means if the more amount of water is there in the soil the air the amount of air which is required for the germination won't be available for the uh, for the seeds and so again it is going to hamper germination again it is going to affect germination in the negative way okay so first of all what is happening like it stops the germination germination won't takes place then roots do not grow properly and again roots can't breathe okay now one very very disastrous thing if untimely water is given that means if the water is given on the maturity of the crops what will happen the crops will fall crops will fall if irrigated after maturity okay so what is the meaning of this okay so it is known as what lodging just have a look over here crops will fall if irrigated after maturity the falling off of crops due to excess of water okay the falling off of crops or due to oh, like uh, crops will fall if irrigated after maturity or i should write even the same key crops fall if irrigated more than required okay the crops they fall when they are irrigated then uh, like a part, the uh, to a particular extent which is not at all required okay so crops fall then what has to be done if this is the case then water has to be drained out of the uh, field okay so what is the thing what we are studying we are studying disadvantages of excess of irrigation or untimely irrigation this few part is about the uh, excess of irrigation and again it also covers untimely irrigation so what is that a new word water lodging it means when the soil has more amount of water into this okay and first is what it stops germination roots do not grow properly roots can breathe like the aeration it affects aeration and crops fall if it is irrigated after uh, getting like after a particular mature like the crops are mature and if it is irrigated then the crops fall the crops fall due to the more amount of water so you know if uh, water is given uh, like after a certain period so the uh, crops if they are strong enough they can resist they can be there or it can give a severe damage to the uh, crops to the field to the farmer okay now see uh, water is very very important actually you know for the uh, crops we just read many many points uh, i would like to add one more thing like you know if it is uh, if the like the water prevents the plants from the frost okay like when the temperature is very low very high okay if it is very hot then also the water is is the thing which prevents the plants from the very hot climate also so water is very very important for the crops it is necessary for the crops to grow to develop but the irrigation has to be done timely 
if it is not done timely then it hampers the crop, it affects the growth of the crops, it affects the productivity, it affects the quality, it affects the quantity of the crops ok. Ok, now next is we will move to the next thing, see we have discussed that uh, when the crops are grown ok, when the crops are grown in the field along with the crops something else also uh, can be seen ok, certain other things which are there along with the crops can be seen. What are that other things known as ok, all those other things the other plants which grows are known as what weeds ok. So, we are going to read something about the weeds what weeds are first of all just I will take the chalk ok. So, we will talk about those extra plants we are going to talk about weeds. Okay. So, what is the meaning of weeds? Weeds are the unwanted plants which which grows along with the crop ok. So, what is the meaning of weeds? Weeds are the unwanted plants which grows along with the crops ok. So, why we have to remove ok if the plants like the crops are growing along with this if even the other plants are growing it is ok what is wrong in that let them also germinate let them also like grow properly no the farmers cannot do so why because there are certain disadvantages of these weeds ok. So, we have to remove the weeds because of the uh, because of few reasons now what can be the reason just we will have a look. First of all, we will read the definition of weeding. Now, uh, what is the meaning of weeding? Weeding, ok. The process of the process of removing the process of removing the weeds from the field is known as weeding ok. What is the meaning of weeding? The process of removing the weeds from the field is known as weeding that means the weeds this unwanted plants has to be removed ok. So, first of all reason like why it has to be removed right? why it has to be removed. Okay. What is the like why the weeds has to be removed? If we do not remove the weeds, like uh, it even it can flourish along with the crops, but why the farmers do not allow the weeds to grow along with the crops? So, first reason is for like this weeds they com compete with the crops. In sense of what? Maybe water, space, uh, maybe in some areas, light and nutrients. This light is a uh, light I can write in a special case, ok. So, now what we are reading? We are reading about the weeding, 
what are weeds the unwanted plants which are there along with the crops are weeds what is weeding it is a process to remove the weeds now why it has to be removed first reason is weeds are they compete with the crops now what is the meaning of compete Com competition so we all are aware of the meaning of the competition these weeds these unwanted plants they compete with the uh, with the main crops they are in competition that means what you know the weeds are very fast in absorbing the nutrients they are very fast in absorbing the water from the field in fact they absorb more than the uh, crops ok so that is a very worst part of this and so it has to be removed because if the, the water and the nutrients which is which the farmer is making available for the crops ok he wants the crops to grow properly he wants a good um, quality and a good quantity uh, the crops he wants the quantity and the quality both if the enough nutrients are not available so how the crop can grow how the quality and quantity can be good so weeds has to be removed for the simple reason because the weeds they compete with the main crop ok now sometimes you know these weeds are very very poisonous weeds are very poisonous sometimes ok sometimes when I am saying weeds are very poisonous so it harms the uh, animals like the one who is there the one the um, maybe the animal who is eating the weeds ok it is harmful for the crops even it is harmful for the men so if it is if the weeds are spreading poison it is harmful for everyone and so again it has to be removed ok so these are the two reasons main reasons why the weeds has to be removed from the field ok now how the weeds have to be removed ok now what we are going to read how how weeds can be removed ok how the weeds can be removed we have two methods of weeding ok we have two methods of weeding one is manual method ok one is manual method and the second is second is spraying spraying method ok so what is the meaning of manual method in this manual method what is the meaning of manual method here we have discussed about this instrument the name of the instrument is khurpa ok uh, we can laugh on the name but this small khurpa is very very useful you know in Hindi usually we call it as khurpi ok so in this khurpa uh, in English we call it as khurpa and in Hindi khurpi so what is the use of this khurpa with the help of this the weeds can be either it can be cut ok like uh, this is the level of the soil on this these weeds are grown so with the help of this khurpi it can be cut from here or even sometimes it can be dug from here and the along with the roots this uh, weeds can be removed ok. So this is what manual method of removing the khurpa uh, sorry I am so sorry uh, manual method of removing the weeds uh, this is done with the help of the khurpa khurpa is an instrument small instrument with which the weeds can be removed from the roots or uh, just can be cut superficially ok can we just write this ok so I will just write over here what is manual method the weeds can be removed 
weeds can be removed just by cutting or uprooting uprooting with the help of kripa okay so weeds can be just removed by just cutting or pulling it up nicely so this is manual method now second is spraying method spraying method means what has to be spread definitely we are not going to spray man, uh, fertilizers so what has to be spread vd size now what is the meaning of vd sites vd sites is the obviously chemical which kills the weeds okay vd site is what it is the chemical which kills the weeds okay it is the chemical which kills the weeds okay so this vd site has to be uh, spread on the field on the crops to destroy this uh, weeds okay now see sometimes this vd site can be uh, dangerous for the men the uh, farmer who is spraying who is using it who is adding this to the crops okay who is spraying it so the farmers has to be uh, like they have to take the precaution they have to tie the cloth on the face so that while spraying this poisonous we decide it uh, like you know by tying it it won't enter into the eyes maybe on in the nose and mouth so one has to be very very careful while using this spray or the vd sites now this vd sites are poisonous but it does not affect the crops okay it is made in this way that it is only it is disastrous it is uh, it will it is going to destroy the weeds okay so what is vd site it destroys i have written it destroys it uh, it are the these are the chemicals which kills the uh, weeds okay so by this method by spraying the weeds can be killed up okay now there are even vd sites are also known as sometimes herbicides okay it can be also known as herbicides now like many uh, herbicides many vd sites are available in the markets which the uh, which is used by the farmers okay so one very common is delapon example okay so it is used by the farmers uh, to destroy the weeds okay so what we have studied now we have studied about the weeds weeds are the unwanted plants which grow along with the crops it has to be removed by the farmers why it has to be removed by the farmers because it compete with the plants they have competition means in what way for getting more marks no so for what they compete just to have uh, more water then the crops to get more nutrients in the crops and it affects adversely the growth of the crops so it has to be removed so what is weeding the process of removing the crop is weeding why it has to be removed just now we have discussed now how it can be removed it can be done in two ways first is manual method doing it with hands second hands mean with the help of an instrument it can be removed by cutting or uprooting and next is spraying method where the vd sites uh, can be used what is the meaning of vd sites the chemicals which kills the weeds okay it can be used vd sites are also known as herbicides for example delapon so it kills the we, uh, weeds very important point the it is poisonous so farmers has to tie a cloth they have to take the precautions and has to use this because it is uh, it can harm their eyes and uh, if it get it, it enters into the body it can be harmful but at the same time this weed sites are harmful only for the weeds and not for the crops okay now next topic we are going to study about